Hello Leo and welcome to your October 2022 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. <coughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna... The first card that came out is the Four of Swords in reverse. So here it's either because we're still in the process or leaving it or resisting it. So four of swords, this is when we have the understanding about, oh, this is how the tree of swords kind of got into my life. And it allows us to kind of heal. But it is a retracted mode, you know, macerating and, and self-nurturing and trying to heal and understand. When it's in reverse, it's either because we get out of it um, or we're refusing to do it. But after that, I have the Seven of Swords. Oops, I'm just going to remove that. Okay, Seven of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So Seven of Swords, this is really... This is telling me that this month you're going to meet uh, the part of you that allows this empowerment through the mind, through beliefs. This can go from procrastination to self-sabotage with the Seven of Swords. This is when we have the thought and the belief that things are stronger than us. We're powerless. The guy, the thief in the night here, went and stole all the swords of the enemy camp during the night. So the next day, they had absolutely nothing to fight with. So imagine this feeling and how it applies into your life. Where do I have the beliefs that I cannot, that what is out there is stronger than me, that what my I want to dream, that what, what I want to have uh, is impossible that I cannot receive a cup or bring my cup here, my walking with a cup in my hand. Under the Four of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups. So my beautiful uh, Leos, this month, there's going to be a truth in your waters. We do have the full moon in Pisces. That's bringing light in the shadow waters, the hidden waters. Um, and that would be uh, the information written down in our unconscious uh, cells, waters. Water is memory. Water is a receptacle of higher vibrations. Uh, that's why it's a source of information uh, through vibration and it is a storage of memory there's something you're understanding on this full moon means that uh, the reflection of the light on this aspect is going to be at its highest in Pisces in a water sign uh, that is aligned with uh, very unconscious uh, with Pisces ruled by Neptune very um, this is where what needs to be sacrificed will be obvious okay so and when I say what needs to be sacrificed I'm not talking in a you know um, I'm sacrificing myself and what I need and my essentials in order to get something no sacrifice means okay I was holding on to this but I see that it's it's not uh, justifiable anymore uh, it needs to go so for my growth under that I have the five of cups I have the page of pentacle and I have the knight of wands in reverse so see that page of pentacle this is a brand new pentacle of something to for your growth for your next cycle for something that you can plant and grow but since it has a lot of uh, sadness, grieving memories in your water, this actually prevents you from going for, for going for it. 
for using your willpower here in the here and now and there's nothing stopping me i'm gonna go and plant that pentacle and and bring it to this to its fullest and so on no there's sadness in there and that sadness there's probably something telling you that it's stronger than you that it is the reality and there's nothing you can do about it under that I have the Queen of Sword and the Ace of Pentacle, uh, the Ace of Wands. There's a new fire. You're, the Queen of Swords is the one that uh, is able to perceive it. So in a way, through the healing, through the truth that you got in your waters, your Queen of Swords will be able to perceive that new fire, that new way to bring your fire, to bring your passion okay, forward. But here, the Knight of Cup is in reverse because of that sadness. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse because of that sadness. She doesn't feel like she's enough to pull it through. That she won't be supported by the universe. That she won't be able to uh, have what it takes to make it through. Because of the sadness of the waters. This is what is going to become obvious in your story in your beliefs this month and when you're gonna really get it here's the will of fortune to actually change this you're gonna understand why it was maybe turning in a certain way for you all the time so let's clarify this for you Okay, I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Leos for the month of October 2022. Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords there? And, whoops, why is it in reverse? Four of Swords. Oh, okay. We have the Sun. And we have the Eight of... The Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. They were a bit in reverse, but this is... This is really understanding, and this is maybe why you're getting out of your Four of Swords and trying to understand. See that Page of Pentacles here? You are, there's the ace, okay? The page of pentacles is always the first person to grab an ace of cup, uh, an ace of pentacle. The page grabs the ace. The ace is in the end of the divine. In order to get that ace, you need to be in that garden. You need to have crossed that um, threshold where it is possible for you to grab it and to make bring your fire and your moves to plant it to make it grow to dance with the universe this is what it would be about okay and here what is not like that is super obvious the sun is on it oh my god i see it now and that's probably why you get that truth here uh I had a real big understanding. Seven of sword. Because with a seven of swords on this, it just says, oh, it never happens to me. That pentacle in a, is, is not really, I won't have what it takes to uh, make it. Uh, even if I make a move, the universe will not answer. I'm alone and so on. So there you go. Ah. Uh, we have the Emperor, we have the Three of Cups. Um, a lot of disempowerment when it comes to um, your capacity to have things light and joyful, um, the people in your life, because this can be also our social network. Here, uh, the Emperor, in our capacity to actually manifest uh, and control our empire uh, let's look at that knight of cups in reverse 
but you are switching this. This is what you're switching. That's why the, the Three of Cups is upright and the Emperor is upright. The understanding, yeah, the clarity. You're getting the clarity on these aspects that I've just uh, expressed. See, the sun is there with your Knight of Cups in reverse. It's obvious that I did not get any results in the past because I wasn't following my heart. Because I had these beliefs in my heart. Um, a big lack of trust also with the Seven of uh, Cups. A seven of uh, Swords with the Three of Cups. But here, clarity is really coming to you. You have the insight, the mental insight. And then this is really, and I think with the full moon, it's really going to bring you the whole emotional understanding of how the water aspect in your life was disempowering you. Let's see that. Knight of Swords. What is that truth, spirits? Yeah. The truth that you get is that you need that Ace of Cup. Because if not, you're in complete anxiety. Look at the Swords. Nine of Swords. Of course, Seven of If I'm disempowered when it comes to, uh, you know, rising my vibration, uh, relying on others, being able to exchange. And this is the Three Graces inspiration uh, and all of this if this is being disempowered uh, of course it's going to bring anxiety and and things like that and the solution is an ace of cup for you uh, leo that is where she comes in that is where she can allow that cup to come in queen of cups and that's probably where, okay, I can be the pentacle, I can make moves and dance with the universe, but if I do not believe that things will be balanced to begin with, if I do not believe that, um, you know, uh, what I am going to allow in is going to be uh, free, equal, and so on, then I will resist it. Seven of Wands. This is the, um, the source of your anxiety uh, is going to become obvious. Uh, because you have this here, five of cups. Yeah, old sadnesses from, um, you know, what connections uh, brought to you before. And you're going to have to make a decision about it. Is this your reality, five of pentacles? Are we letting go of this? Where you had to, you gave a lot more than what you received in your relationships. Seven of Swords, it's when others, we've let others disempower us. Um, we've been carrying the sadness and the things like that and we've been resisting. Gemini is going through something like that also. If you have like an ascendant or your Venus in Gemini or something like that, um, you might see, uh, um, might be good to go and listen to the other one. Here, Two of Swords, you have to make a decision about this this month. It's going to become obvious and here you're going to have to decide, is this my truth? Yeah, is this my truth? And here we have the King of Sword with the Ace of Wands. Queen of Sword, Ace of Wands. You're going to readjust your beliefs of what you can perceive and what is your truth. And stop letting old memories uh, disempower you and prevent you from following your heart, from allowing water into your life queen ooh from allowing water into your life and here we have the queen of pentacle in reverse it's with the eight of cups so that ace of wands that new willpower that new fire okay so that you can grasp that ace of pentacle that is there for you 
and that you can know that you have what it takes to get it. Okay? It's like, okay, I'm going to go for that extra self-love. I'm worth it. I have what it takes. I'm enough. Will of fortune. And this will become very obvious with the sun here at the end of the month for you, Leo. Will of Fortune. Ah, so things that weren't coming, that weren't giving anything, where you were just tired and your fire was maybe um, interrupted, um, turned into a shovel, things are going to change. I think you understand that that garden needed water. It's going to become obvious. And you're going to stop resisting that water. And you're going to allow it in. And it's with that new fire. Um, this is really the readjustment of um, my will. I will stop protecting myself like this. And I will allow the water. I'm actually going to go for that water. Because now I understand that if not, I'm just turning around and not receiving the value and the fruits of my efforts. Where the fruits were more of a something that was almost unattainable, I felt disempowered when it came to that. Here with queen and king of swords with those aces of wands, the will to do this for you uh, is going to be very obvious. And you're going to make that decision right now. Changing the way you bring your fire. Turning the wheel of fortune. Why? Because what was hidden in there, um, in your waters, will become obvious. Uh, it's a reconciliation with water, in a way. Okay, understanding the the need of it, the power of it, um, that just mere fire is not enough, because then the mind plays against us, and we have to fight against our belief and against the world and against everything. So it's a new way to bring your fire in harmony with water. And that is what is going to turn your, uh, your will of fortune. So I'm going to call this fire and water, okay? <laughs> but one does not have to kill the other. It can be harmonious and it needs to work in synchronization. So there you go. That's going to be your decision this month. So on this, my beautiful Leos, I am sending you all of my love and light. Uh, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Uh, if you want a private reading, there's the website written below. Um, you can go there, book and all of that. There's a schedule. It's always just one month uh, periods. So every day there's a new day opening, but you cannot book six months in advance. Uh, also, this month is, of course, Halloween, the beautiful time of year where the veil between our world and the other world, uh, all the worlds, I should say, are at this thinnest. So it's a good time to send our love and our light to our loved ones that passed away. Sometimes also we can maybe make peace, write down uh, what we've always wanted to say. Uh, so that we can harmonize uh, the memories. Um, it's a good time for that. Also, if we want to make little offerings for our invisible friends here, I'm showing the forest because it's full of them there. Uh, it's a good time to make an offering of friendship and brotherhood. Uh, and, of course, celebrating Halloween. Why not? 
on this also. I'm sending you all my love and light. And I'll see you next month. Namaste.